Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam informed us of the release of Dajjal into the world during his lifetime. During his lifetime. He went on to say that when Dajjal is released into the world, he would live on earth for 40 days. One day like a year, one day like a month, one day like a week, and the rest of his days like your days. That when Dajjal was in a day which is like a year, Britain was his headquarters. And when Dajjal moved to a day which is like a month, the United States of America became his headquarters. And finally when Dajjal is going to be in a day which is like a week, he comes back home to the Holy Land. He comes back home to the Holy Land. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order.
On the outskirts of the national capital today, black limousines with darkened windows converged on a hotel where private security guards imposed ironclad control. The limos carried royalty, political power brokers, and industrial titans to a secret meeting that will last all weekend. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order, can emerge, a new era. David Gergen, the Carl Rove of four presidential administrations. Okay, one last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization, and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers, and that's the Bohemian Grove. And then you countered them by saying, hey, I don't run around in the woods naked. What did that mean? Here is the before mentioned Washington Times article where he said, I didn't run around naked like they do. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what quote you're referring to. I'm not aware of any quote like that. Uh, listen, uh, I am a, a, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a uh, uh, the group beyond that. Thank you. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's uh, that. Uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't took, we deserve to know? You, you took an under, I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? Well, you, we have public you, officials. I'm sorry. You took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. You did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual genuinely? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's leave your damn business. Oh. Look how strangely he behaved when we brought it up. Why is he acting so secretive? Why did he get so angry when he discovered that we snuck in? You see, they take it very, very seriously. This is one of the hallmarks of the occult and secret societies. The word occult means secret. Secrecy is part of their religion. They revel in it. And when it's violated, they become extremely angry. Oh.